filmed this intro like 30 times. I don't know why I can't do it. Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I personally lost 30 pounds and how I kept it off. If you guys are interested in hearing some of my tips and advice, I did write some stuff down so I wanted to go ahead and jump into this video. So if you guys are excited then let's go ahead and jump in. Before we get started, I do want to mention a little company that I've been using and it has been Ebates. You guys know from previous videos I've used them to earn cash back from shopping and if you guys know me, I freaking love Amazon. You guys, it is horrible, it is an addiction and I've spent so much on Amazon, it's crazy. So um, I shop through Ebates when I shop on Amazon and it totally helped me earn money back and also on top of that you guys can actually earn referral money so if you refer friends to use Ebates you actually can get $25 per referral and you guys I've made some good amount of decent cash on the side from using Ebates so if you guys are interested I will leave that down in the description box below. So probably my number one tip for you guys is to kind of pay attention to your lifestyle and the way that you guys are eating and what you guys are consuming. So um, a lifestyle change for me is the probably number one thing that has ever helped me because I was always that person who would try new diets and you know dieting was just something that I did. I would eat clean for like three weeks and then I'm like alright cool where um, is my abs now, you know? So um, make sure you guys are consistent and making sure that you guys are making lifestyle changes that are going to help you in the long run. So for instance, when I go grocery shopping, I do not buy any junk food. I always buy healthy food and stock up in my house because I know if I were to purchase any type of junk food, it'd be gone in like a day or two at maximum. Like. Oh gosh, it's so bad. <laughs> For an example, I don't drink pop. I only drink water or like juice or like Crystal Light, you know, the little flavoring packets. So that's just one major thing that has helped me with my weight loss and helped me cut down fat. So just, you know, little stuff like that that you can tweak here and there that's going to help save you like carbs or calories and stuff like that. I mentioned it was to eat for fuel. So you guys, please don't starve yourself. Please don't cut out things that you love. Um, I still eat carbs. I eat plenty of, you know, things that I have been craving. So, um, for instance, if I am craving like chocolate chip cookies or um, brownies or something, I will literally just go on Pinterest and be like, healthy brownie recipe or healthy chocolate chip cookies. I try to just focus on just filling my body with nutritional foods. So that leads me to my next topic is just eat for fuel. So. I have so many people who are like, well, I'm going to go low carb and blah, blah, blah. And you guys, I freaking love carbs. Oatmeal, you know, bananas, like carbs are not bad as long as they are healthy, uncomplex carbs. So if you guys are going to be exercising and working out, you guys are going to want to fuel your body. It's pretty much just like burning a fire, but not adding any wood to it. So if you guys are constantly burning and burning and burning, you guys really need to replenish and make sure that you guys are fueling your body for the amount of exercise and intenseness that you're going to um, cause by putting stress on your body. So make sure you guys are eating well, you know, feeling full and just eating good food, you know. Guilty for what you're eating, I mean, as long as you're doing stuff in moderation and not going overboard, then you guys will do just fine, I promise. A major thing that's really helped me is just making sure I'm just getting a little bit of everything that my body needs. So examples of this would be getting a really good amount of sleep, so whether that's like at least eight hours or more, um, getting really good amount of water in. You should be drinking half your body weight in ounces. I have a 32 ounce water bottle and I try to drink two to three of those at least every day. And um, on top of that, I take vitamins and supplements, which is not necessary for weight loss, do not get me wrong, but it is really beneficial in aiding in your digestion and helping you with deep bloating and all that stuff. So make sure you guys are getting enough fiber or making sure that you aren't deficient in anything. I found out that I was deficient in vitamin D, so I've been taking that as well. Another thing that I take is collagen powder. So I'll just add that to my coffee. Um, sometimes I add things to my smoothies, you know, like spinach and stuff like that. But then I also add like little capsules of stuff and just throw it into, sorry about that. 
and it would probably be looking into like a probiotic just because your digestion plays a huge role in weight loss so just make sure that you are feeding your gut and making sure that your gut health is on point and a thing is to just learn to love exercise Exercise and I have a very love-hate relationship and I find that it is very difficult for me to find the motivation to get up and really want to work out. So just make sure you guys have a routine if you guys don't feel motivated. Really. <laughs> uh, just find out, you know, what motivates you, what gets you up and moving and want to do something. Um, is it having a goal, like a picture in mind that you can look at and be like, oh, that's my goal body. Is that what I, that's what I want to look at, you know? Or just finding YouTube videos or stuff on Pinterest. Um, you know, just find stuff that motivates you and stuff that you like watching to get inspiration from. So, here you guys are thinking about the aftermath and how you may feel. Exercise is something, you know, something people don't really want to do all the time, but just to make sure you guys are thinking about what it feels like when you're done and how proud you're going to be, it's something that is something you just can't take that feeling away, you know? I'm tired, I am trying to stay up so I can film this video, but I can tell you that my voice is starting to crack and I'm tired and I gotta go to bed. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning, but I really wanted to talk to you guys. A little bit about my weight loss and how I have lost some weight <laughs> I can't even talk I'm so tired um, yeah I think that's everything I wanted to talk to you guys about so far I'm sure I forgot something but yeah good night you guys <laughs> bye